welcome back and in this video we are going to see how we can create and deploy a function app which is going to trigger based on cosmos db changes from visual studio so for this demo we are into azure portal and we are inside resource group called software cosmos demo and now i'm going to create another cosmos db this cosmos db we created for previous demo which uh, we used graph db now i'm going to create one another normal cosmos db with sql api so that we can see how the function trigger works in marketplace let's search with cosmos let's select the cosmos db and let's create we have various options here but we but for this demo, I will go for no SQL option. I will go for serverless option. And then rest I will keep at the default setting. It will take a couple of minutes to create the account. Let me click on create. It is submitted for deployment. And deployment is in progress. Uh, let's wait a couple of minutes. And created. Let's go to resource. Now I can use Quick Start to create item container, or either we can go for data explorer section and do the manually, depending upon how we want to do that. So let's go ahead and let me create a new container. Right now we do not have any database here. So I will go ahead new container and the container name let's put that items. And then we will create a container names, uh, the database name let's put a task and then container name we can put as the items. And then uh, default will be, uh, let's put the partition keys ID only and we can see that okay so our database with item container has been created right now there is no data next step is that we can add function app which is going to trigger when we will add or update any records inside this collection to do that we can go ahead in this ui integration tab also if we can try to add any function into existing function apps which we have created inside any subscription. So right now there is no function app created inside our subscription. So we can go ahead and create. But when we create from here, uh, sometimes it happens that some DLL will be missing because it does it generates only code, but it, so that can be one issue. So for that, I'm going to create this function app and other things from Visual Studio. So let's go to Visual Studio. And now I am going to create a new project and I'm going to select Azure function app and going to click next. And then I'm going to say item. Then I'm going to say next. And in next screen, we will select that which kind of function it is there. So right now we want to go for Cosmos DB trigger. So let's select the Cosmos DB trigger and then ask for collection. So our collection is items and connection string name so let's put that details and if we go inside here let's put that this is our database and collection so collection name is our items and database name is tasks and connection string name we can put anything like cosmos db connection string let's put that and we will go ahead and create now it is asking that do you want to connect dependency from local emulator or you want to do for Azure Cosmos DB. So we have already created. So let's go for that. And it is going to select whatever Cosmos DB which we have in our subscription. So I'm going for this because we have our function AB app demo Cosmos DB account. So I'm going to next and it is going to get all the connection string and then I'm not using key vault right now. It is, we must use key vault for better security. So I'm going to do next and then I'm going to finish. Let me close this dialog. 
Now, if we see this function app, it generates function app one, function app uh, one with name, and it does that. Okay, uh, it will be Cosmos DB trigger database name, which is given collection name and connection string, and it will create a list container uh, inside here. Uh, if we refresh this one, it will be created when we will run that. So right now, if you see that there is no leach collection, but it will create one leach container to uh, keep metadata for all the run status and where it is. So I'm going to rename the fin function app for demo. Okay. And then let's try to build this one and run that. Let's run this function app. So function app just started, but it is throwing some exceptions. So let's see what is that. So it, it is saying the either lead collection is not there. So let me create one lead collection also manually. At least it should create one lead container. Let me run this function app to see that locally. If we are able to detect any changes, if we create any Cosmos DB item. Let me go ahead and add one record and save. Let's see what happens. Sometime it takes time to get that change feed and then go ahead and trigger this function. So let's wait. So now I can see that document modified one and first document task one. So this got updated. So now let's go ahead and deploy this function app to functions. I'm going to create publish and select the Azure function, function app on Windows. Now, we did not find any function app inside subscription, so I'm going to create one. Let's create with the Cosmos DB trigger soft page so that it will be unique. And we will put in the same where we are doing the demo and that demo RG name is, let's see that where our Cosmos DB account is there. Uh, that is soft page Cosmos demo. So I'm going to put over there and then location uh, because we want to keep the same as where this is the uh, Cosmos is there. So I'm going to put at the West US. And then we want to use any storage to store all these details. So I'm going to select any of which is in West US. If not, then we will create one. So let's create a new one in best be us let me create and then it is going to validate all these details and now it is going to create the app service inside this resource group where we have we may give in and we can see that it should create from deployment or either it is deploying right now website deployment is happening if we go inside this one it is going to create a storage account and all the details. So let's wait for some time. Let's finish this. And if we go inside right now, inside our RG and refresh that, we can see that our function app and storage is coming. So now we can close that and go to publish. Right now, if we go see inside this function app, let's go right now, no result. It is right now publishing this function to function app. It is zipping and then publish everything. So it is saying that make sure your function have right setting to run. We can go and see that if all the settings went fine or not. Let so now we can see this function is came and enable. Now let's go to configuration and then we can go inside configuration to see all the configurations are present or not. So we can see the function version and other things are there, but I don't see any uh, connection string which we given here that it will be used this connection string. So we have to give this connection string. So let me go ahead. And for now, I'm going to grab the key and secrets from here and i will put but for security purpose we have to use keyword so 
I'm not doing right now, but yeah. Now uh, we can go into App Insight and see that if App Insight is enabled or not. Let me turn on the application Insight and then it will be created. Let me apply. So now all the application is there enabled. Now let's go to Log Stream. Now it is connected. Now I'm going to add one more item and see first that what happens. Let me update this. Save this one. So I believe this should be we should be able to see that log. So I can see that this record came here, task two. And uh, we can add keep adding more and other things, sync operation in sitting background, sync operation and other things. If I go ahead and add any details over there, also it should trigger based on all this. So we can see that this is also created and tested. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video that how we can have a basic Cosmos DB trigger based function app. Thank you. Mm -hmm.